Just minutes from downtown San Diego, Mission Bay offers 4,600 acres of aquatic fun. Surrounded by 27 miles of winding shorelines, Mission Bay is a haven for water sports enthusiasts. This is a great place for everything from kayaking and paddleboarding to water skiing, sailing, kite surfing, and more. There are several different places that you can launch your kayaks and paddleboards from, and we will be showcasing two of them in this video. And if you don't have any water toys, don't worry because there are a lot of rental options here as well, such as the Mission Bay Sports Center, Mission Bay Aquatic Center, Seaforth Boat Rentals, and Action Sports Rentals. The only word of warning that we have about Mission Bay is that you probably want to avoid this area right here because this is the high speed zone for boats and wave runners. The first launch area that we will be highlighting in the video is the Bahia Point Public Beach. There is a ton of parking here, but just as a heads up, it does fill up on weekends and holidays, so you need to get there early. The good thing is that after you get a parking spot, it is just a short walk down to the water. It's even doable carrying our 75 pound light tackles. There are obviously a ton of different ways that you can go here, but one of our favorite routes takes you from Bahia Point over to the backside of SeaWorld and to a dog beach, and we're gonna show you how to get there. One good thing is that you can see SeaWorld's sky tower from the launch point, so it's pretty hard to get lost. As we get underway, we will be curving off to the right towards the two bridges. You wanna take the bridge on the left if you're hoping to go to SeaWorld and the dog beach. And don't worry if you're wondering what's behind the bridge on the right, we'll get to that in just a little bit. As you cross the bay, be sure to keep your eyes peeled because you can encounter boat traffic, especially on busy weekends. There are also several Wave Runner rental places inside Mission Bay, and sometimes those renters can be a little bit less than courteous, so be sure to watch out for them as well. Here we are at that bridge on the left, and there's this one shot that I love to get as we kayak between the two bridges. In photography, there's a term called leading lines, and it doesn't get much better than that. After crossing under the bridges, the high speed zone that I recommended avoiding will be on your left, and SeaWorld will be right in front of you. In fact, you'll be so close to the park that you can kayak right under the sky bubbles. It's kind of cool because I remember riding in the bubbles as a kid, now we get to see them from a whole new angle. Almost directly across from the bubbles is the Dog Beach. This is the far edge of the Fiesta Island Dog Park and it never seems to have a shortage of adorable little pups. This is usually where we stop for lunch and the dogs always seem like they're pretty happy to put on a hilarious show for us while we eat. If you are paddling out to the dog beach and back, you're looking at a round trip distance of just over two and a half miles. You can also continue on past the dog beach. The waterway does dead end, but it will stretch out the distance to right around 4.4 miles. As for this video, we are now heading back towards Bahia Point. For some reason, it seems like we are always paddling into a headwind on the way back, so that is something to keep in mind when deciding how far you want to go. We tried to race the seal on the way back, but unfortunately we were no match for its powerful motor. After accepting defeat, we soon found ourselves back at Bahia Point. One of the really nice things about this launch point are the buoys that keep the boats out of the cove. This is great if you want to take a dip before or after your paddle, and it'll keep you safe. Directly across the street from Bahia Point is another launch option known as Bonita Cove. We have used this launch option a couple of times when the parking at Bahia Point was full. There are tons of trees and amenities here, and they have pull-through spots, which make it really nice when we bring the trailer. The only downside of launching from the cove is that it is quite a bit farther from the parking down to the water, so if you're bringing a heavy kayak, we definitely recommend bringing a cart with you. Since you're going to be in the same bay, you can obviously launch here and go to the backside of SeaWorld and the Dog Beach as well. But if you're wanting to go to the harbor in hopes of seeing sea lions, this is the easier option. 
This cove is also really nice and calm and it doesn't have a ton of boat traffic. So if you're new to kayaking and trying to figure out how to steer around, this might be a great spot for you. If you're wanting to get to the harbor, you're going to paddle out to the end of the jetty and make a left. From here, you should be able to see the harbor directly across the channel. You may remember that bridge on the right that we talked about a little bit earlier. Well, this is where it will take you. As you can see here, we have gone from Bahia Point to the harbor. It's all pretty much just a matter of where you can get parking and how far you want to paddle that day. The harbor is another great place to paddle. The water here is also really calm, but with all the boats here, you obviously do need to watch out for traffic. Paddling from Bonita Cove to the harbor and back is a fairly short trip. It's only about 1.8 miles. On a fun casual paddle day, that might be enough, but if you're looking to boost up the distance a little bit, you can hit the harbor and then head over to the dog beach and back, and that'll put you closer to 4.5 miles. One of the main points of interest when kayaking at the harbor is this floating dock. Sometimes it's full of seagulls or anhinga, and sometimes it's full of sea lions. If you do encounter sea lions, be sure to give them a little bit of space, especially if babies are present. If you don't, I'm sure that the moms will let you know about it. And that pretty much wraps up our tour of Mission Bay. If you're looking for another awesome spot to go kayaking in Southern California, check out our video about Huntington Harbor, or as we call it, Bolsa Chica. What are your favorite spots to go kayaking at? Be sure to let us know in the comments below because we'd like to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe because we have a lot more kayak content coming your way. And for all the information about Mission Bay, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.